Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. Uh, let's go ahead and practice or go over another lesson. I think this is very important since this is going to be uh, a key lesson for our next following 10 lessons. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I want you to please look at the very first column of words. As you may see, uh, we are on lesson 39 from the RMT1 program. Uh, but let's go. I hope you can see as clear as I I can see that. I want you to follow my arrow or just pay attention and follow with your sight and vision your uh, vocabulary words. Everyone touch the word number one or look at word number one. I have my arrow on it. Now, uh, this word these words have more than one syllable yeah. on word number one the first part is spelled a p p i want you to read that part again the first part is spelled a p p what does this part say app the second part is spelled l e s what does the second part say? Less. Yes. Now, I want you to read the whole word. Apples. Yes, apples. Go to number two. Word two, the first part is spelled A-N-Y. What does this part say? Any. The second part is spelled T H I N G. What does that part say? Thing. What's the word? Anything. Word three. The first part is spelled. H A M. What does this part say? Ham. The second part is spelled B U R G E R S. What does that part say? Burgers. What is word number three? hamburgers let's go to word number four the first part is spelled R O T what does this part say rot the second part is spelled T E N what does that part say ten what word rotten or you can say rotten is fine with me word five the first part is spelled U N what does this part say on the second part is spelled T I L what does that part say tail what is word number five until Word six, the first part is spelled L-I-K-E. One more time, the first part is spelled L-I-K-E. What does this part say? Like. The second part is spelled L-Y. And what does that part say? Lee. What is word number six? likely <clears throat> for you doing well is likely <laughs> let's go ahead and read all those words the fast way everyone touch word number one <clears throat> word one what word apples word two what word anything word three what word hamburgers Word four, what word? Rotten. 
Word five, what word? Until. And word six, what word? Likely. Kiss your brain. Let's go ahead and touch the second column of words. Right next to the giraffe neck. And let me make those words bigger for you because I know they're a little bit small. Now we can see those bigger and clear, nice and neat. I want you to touch the words in the sky again. Each word has a letter combination. The combinations aren't underlined because we are big kids already. We don't need the underlining parts anymore. The combination words and sounds, we know them. So uh, again, the combinations aren't underlined. You will spell the combination, then say the word. Okay, again, what are we going to do? Spell the combination, sound, then say the whole word. Number one, touch number one, point at number one, look at number one. First combination sound, let's spell it. Okay, ready? E, A. What combination sound? E. What's the whole word? Yes, meat. Number two. Word two, spell the combination. Get ready. O-A. And what does O-A say? O, yes. What's word number two? Yes, goats. Word three, spell the combination. Yes, E-A. What does E-A say? E. What's word number three? Yes, eats. Word four, spell the combination. A-R. What does A-R say? R. And what's word number four? Yes, parts. Word five. Spell the combination. What does E-A say? E. What's word five? Beans. Word six. Spell the combination. What does A all say? All. And what's word number six? Yes, tall. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and read all those words again the fast way. Touch number one. Word one. What word? Yes, meat. Word two, what word? Yes, goats. Word three, what word? Yes, eats. Word four, what word? Yes, parts. Word five, what word? Yes, beans. And word six, what word? Yes, tall. Kiss your brain. Move, let's go over to our next combination or columns of words. This is the giraffe. I'm making it, trying to make this bigger for you all. There we go. Now, um, the words for the giraffe, all of these words, in all of these words, a letter say its name. Again, a letter says its name. Remember that. Okay, that's a key for reading all these words. Everyone touch word number one. We are going to say the sounds at a time. Touch number one. Get ready.
again like what word likes word two sound at a time get ready one more time sheep what word sheep word three get ready Steak. What word? Steak. Word four. Sound at a time. Get ready. Seed. What word? Seeds. Word five. Sound at a time. Er, eyes. What word? Fries. Number six. Sound at a time. S t e p. One word. Yes, yeah, deep. Let's read those words again the fast way. Go back to word number one. What word? Yes, likes. Word two. What word? Yes, sheep. Word three. What word? Steak. Word four, what word? Seeds. Word number five, what word? Fries. And word six, what word? Yes, steep. We have another column of words. Let's find that. And this is at the bottom of the tree. Now let's go ahead and touch the words on the grass. You will touch and say the sounds for each word. Okay? Touch number one. Sound at a time. Get ready. G. R. S. What word? Yes, grass. Word two. Get ready. Mm. Uh, t -s. What word? Yes, nuts. Word three. What word? Sorry, let's go back to number three. Let's press the rewind button. <laughs> again, we said Mr. Aleman made a mistake, but we are reading a sound at a time again. Number three. Sound at a time. Mm. Oose. What word? Moose. Word four. Sound at a time. P L N T. S. What word? Plants. Word five. Sound at a time. Get ready. K R A K. What word? Yes, crack. And number six, that's a long word. Sound at a time. Get ready. B. R. A. G. D. What word? Bragged. Yes, the man bragged. Let's read those words again the fast way. Go to word number one. What word? Grass. Word two. What word? Nuts. Word three. What word? Yes, moose. Word four. What word? Yes, plants. Word five. What word? Crack. Word six. What word? Yes, brag. Okay, it looks like we are done with the four columns of words that we had for today. Uh, if you make a mistake or if you want to practice a little bit more, you can go back to the beginning of a lesson and go over all the words until you master them. We are going to, at this point, move on to a story. We are going to read an informational passage reading. 
this is what animals eat okay let me find that story for us quickly sorry for the delay And I'll try to make this as big as possible. Remember that my book, even in the classroom, it's a little bit blurry. And sometimes I need to borrow your books. <laughs> yes, I ask you for a book, one of your physical books, so I can read off of it because my book gets blurry from the screen. Or Mr. Aleman is just old. We don't know. <laughs> so we're going to touch the title yes this is a very very short story and it's an informational passage remember passage is another word for story and informational means that we are getting some information out of this story it's a story that will give us some information about let's see let's read the title okay ready what animals eat so today's story is is about what animals eat. Touch the first sentence. And let's read it all together. It says, Some animals eat only grass or plants. Wait, let's go back. Rewind. Some animals eat only grass or parts from other plants look at those pictures we have i think a cow a squirrel a baby and a tortoise let's go to the next short paragraph get ready some animals eat parts from other animals meat like steak and hamburgers comes from animals and in this picture, we have all sort of animals that eat other parts of animals. We have the lions, the lionese, we have a wolf, a uh, fish, I think, and of course, uh, humans. Let's go to the next page. Starting again from the top. Some animals eat plants and other animals. All of us can eat foods made from plants and animals. Some of you may not like to eat meat from animals. Those of you who do not eat meat eat things like cheese, nuts, seeds, beans, and other parts of, of plants. Some birds eat seeds and nuts of plants. Some birds eat other animals. Mammals like cows, goats, moose, and sheep don't eat animals. They eat food from plants. And we have Clarabelle in there. <laughs> now, let's start over again on the next page from the top. One farm animal eats plants and meat. That animal eats anything you eat. This animal really likes burgers and fries, apples and corn. This mammal also likes a lot of things you don't eat. This farm animal likes rotten food that you throw away. That farm animal is a pig. Pigs can eat almost anything or everything. Let's go back to that word. Mr. Aleman made a mistake. We're going to break that word into two parts because those are two words stuck together. You see my arrow? Let's read the first part. Get ready. Every second part thing. Let's read it fast. Get ready. Everything. Now, Mr. Aleman, <laughs> rewind. Let's go back to pigs. Get ready. 
Pigs can eat almost everything. Is that right? Correct? I think there is a little bit more about this story. Mm, no, that's it. That is just the end of this short passage. And uh, <clears throat> I think we, we will have a little bit more time to practice uh, one more story. And I really want you to practice this story over and over again. So I will find this story for us. Let's see. Mm -mm. And the story we are going to practice is the previous story. See? I'm going to close this. There is a lot of reading here. That's why this is a reading class. <coughs> so we're going to practice story number from lesson 38. The vocabulary is the same, but I do think that the story is the hard part. And uh, the story is A Swing for Bob, part four. This is a story that we are going to be reading. I know it gets a little bit blurry, but I'll try to make a copy so you can reprint it out and practice it. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and touch the title. This is called A Swim for Bob, part four. So our goal is to read it quickly and with expression okay that's our goal read it quickly with expression and of course no more than three mistakes if we make three mistakes then we start over again if you catch yourself doing an extra mistake you can pause the video and go back to the beginning of the story so we can practice together those words and then you can read it by yourself if you wish to practice for more Touch the title. Get ready. A swim for Bob. Part four. I really wish it was this was bigger so we all can see clear. Here we go. Starting from the top. The sun had set and the moon and stars were in the sky. Bob and Beth were trying to find Tim. They were standing next to the van. All at once, somebody said, What time is it? Bob turned and saw Tim coming out of the van. Tim said, I was sleeping in the back seat. So Tim was sleeping in the back seat. Okay, let's go to the next page. <clears throat> wow, Bob said. Am I ever happy to see you? Beth said, Yes, I am happy too, but we are late. Let's go home. So the three pals got, got into in the van and drove home. Let's start over again. I made a mistake. I stutter a little bit in between Paul's got in the van. So let's go back to wow, everyone. Okay, again, wow, Bob said, am I ever happy to see you? 
Beth said, Yes, I am happy too, but we are late. Let's go home. So, the three pals got in the van and drove home. Bob's dad met them as they drove up. Was Bob's dad happy? No. Oops, sorry for the glitch. Again, starting over again from the top. Later that week, Beth and team went for a bike ride to the zoo. Did Bob go with them? No, he had to stay in his room. Ten days after Bob came home late, Beth and team went to the mall. Did Bob go with them? No. Nope. He had to stay in his yard. How many days do you think Bob will have to stay home? The end. It's gonna stay at home for so many days, right? <laughs> so that's the story that uh, we needed to practice. Uh, Uh, please practice it again <laughs> and one last exercise that I would like to do is to go ahead and practice our spelling yes our spelling that is very important um, something that we have not been able to do as frequent as I desire to do but I know it's fun uh, I know you guys like to practice your spelling, so I'm going to go ahead and bring my notes here. A blank sheet of paper. Home. What? what what's this? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's open a new document. And I'm going to go ahead and make this big. I'll try to write with the font or as big as possible that means the letter size so we all can't see that happening so I'm going to read mm, how many words let's see one two three four words for for now <coughs> we'll try and practice on four words easy peasy right so go ahead and pause the video wait before you pause it, get a sheet of paper, some pencil or pen, and we will be practicing these words. You have five seconds. Pause the video now. So by now you should have unpaused the video. You, you have your, your sheet of paper ready. You have your pen or pencil. And we will... <laughs> We will draw. No, we will write some words again. You see? Can you see that letter? It's too small. Okay, here I'm making it bigger. 220. 20 is not that big. Let's do 28. No, it's not even that big. Then, that's legible for everyone. So, word number one. I, like I said, four words. Two, three, four. Okay, number of paper, one through four. So, <clears throat> don't forget that for this, I usually want you to write your name on the top. But it's not necessary at this moment since you might be at home. So everyone, let's pay attention to space number one. 
Are you ready for the first word? Yes, you are. Okay, the word for that space is stop. One word? Stop. Now let's go ahead and say the sounds in stop before you write anything. Okay, hold down to your pencil, put it up. We are saying the sounds for the word stop. Listen. Uh, p. Okay, now I want you to write the sound the way you're, you're listening to it. First sound. S what letter makes s? Write it down. Next sound. T. What letter makes t? Write it down. Next sound. Uh, remember, this letter it's saying the sound, not the name. But what le what letter name? What letter says uh? Write it down. And the last sound. P. What letter says p? Write it down. Okay. Again. Uh, p. Let's go to number two. Word for number two is fine. What word? Yes, fine. Now, let's go ahead and say the sounds in fine. Get ready. Oh, trick <coughs> before we go. One letter in fine, it's saying its name. So that means that this word is going to have a letter E at the end. Don't forget that. And the letter E will be shh, silent. Let's go ahead and say the sounds in the word fine. Okay, ready? I, n. One more time. Say the sounds in fine. Get ready. I, mm. Now, let's write the word. First sound. <sighs> what letter says? <sighs> write it down. Next sound. I. What letter says? I. <sniffs> write it down. And the last sound. N. Again. N. What letter says N? I think no, don't do that. Write it down. And the rule, remember, there is a letter E at the end. The letter E is silent. <coughs> Touch word number three, or the space for word number three. The word for the space on number three will be thing. Thing. What word? Thing. Now, we can say all the sounds in thing. Listen. Thing. Or, I can make that easy for you and tell you that there is only two sounds, a combination sound and one ending. The combination sound could be th and the ending is ing, super easy, th ing, however you want to do it, it's your choice. But remember, no letter says its name. Write it down. Again, space number three, thing. The first sound is th, and that is a combination sound. The second sound is not a letter name, but it's a sound, is a. The next sound is 
N. And the last letter sound is G. And the last word, <coughs> number four. The word for space number four is dive. What word? Dive. Okay, let's say dive a sound at a time. Get ready? D. I. V. Okay, this word is like word number two. One letter says its name, and it has a letter E at the end that is quiet. Okay? Again, the word is dive. Say dive is sound at a time. D. I. V. Write it down. What letter says D? What letter says I? Write it down. And what letter says V? And don't forget, I told you that if one letter says its name, it's because there is an E at the end. Even though it's silent, you still have to write it. Otherwise, the word will say something else. We should be ready by now. Let's go back to word number one and check our work. We said, oh, we said OATP, right? Please take attendance. <laughs> Let's go back to word number one. Word number one is stop. Let's say the sounds for word number one. Stop. Uh, Spell that word, S-T-O-P. Look at my screen, check your work. Does it look like my word? Yes? Give yourself a check mark, kiss your brain. If it's not the same, we need to, you need to listen carefully and follow all the sounds, okay? Let's go to word number two. Word number two, we said it's fine. Let's say the sounds. Get ready? I. N. And I told you that it had a letter E at the end, right? The letter E will be silent. Somebody else says his name, so there must there there must have there must be a letter E at the end. Don't forget that rule. Check mark if you got it right. Number three, word number three is thing. Let's say the sounds. I told you the first sound was th. What sound? And I told you, you could, we could go over the sounds by itself or you could just write an ending. Th, ing, that's an ending, thing right or that you could also say it a sound at a time no letter will say its name whichever way you did it if it has the same answer it's right number four everyone go to word number four The word for number four was dive. What word? Dive. Okay, let's check that word. Sound at a time. And I said one letter says its name, right? Again, sound at a time for dive. Get ready. D. I. V. And we're missing one more letter, right? Somebody says its name, therefore. We should have a letter E at the end. And let's spell the last word. D I V E. Dive. Let's go back to word number one. First word is S T O P. Stop. Word two is F 
I N E fine word three T H I N G thing and number four D I V E dive thank you for spending some time with Mr. Aleman I really enjoy making these videos for you if you really would like me to continue doing these videos please let me know in the classroom um, I'll try to find key videos for you all that way you can have extra practice at home remember I love you all and I'll see you back in the classroom bye bye